Well, today is World Sickle Cell Day. It's a day where we recognise a condition which affects the red blood cells, which can affect people in different ways and can have a huge impact on individual lives. It can pass from one parent to another. It can be more prevalent in people of particular ethnicity, particularly Southern European and Middle Eastern. And so our great task together is to help give people better awareness, better treatments and a better chance of avoiding this condition. We have developed in conjunction with so many from the rare diseases community, the National Strategic Action Plan for Rare Diseases. $3.3 million to help put it together and support it, but most importantly, to lay out the pathways for carrier screening, for additional research and for better treatments. And in terms of the, the treatments, what we've developed for the first time together is the Rare Cancers, Rare Diseases Clinical Trials Program, an over $600 million program aiming to bring new medicines, new treatments, new therapies through clinical trials to patients in need. And that offers hope for patients with sickle cell disease and then to bring them to market. So it's not just those that are on the trials, but it's all patients everywhere who can benefit. In addition to the Rare Cancers, Rare Diseases Clinical Trials Program, there's also fundamental groundbreaking research on genetic conditions. The National Genomics Mission is a 10-year, $500 million mission under the Medical Research Future Fund. And this mission aims to understand diagnoses, treatments, preventions, and potentially cures. In particular, McKenzie's mission is looking at advancing for 10,000 couples, carrier screening for over 1,200 conditions. And so as we advance that science with the very clear goal of offering every couple in Australia carrier screening prior